Hello, Matt here from chemistrystudent.com. In this video, we're going to look at calculating moles and concentrations. We're going to talk about what concentration is, its units, how it is linked to moles, and go through how to calculate moles and concentrations using given data. Before we talk in detail about concentration, it is essential you are comfortable with the idea of the mole. The mole, as well as other mole-based calculations, have been covered in separate videos. Check the links in the description below. As a quick refresh for this video, however, the mole is a term used to describe 6.022 times 10 to the 23 of something. The value it refers to is known as Avogadro's constant and comes from the number of atoms in a sample of an element that has the same mass value as the element's relative atomic mass. For example, hydrogen has a relative atomic mass of 1, meaning in 1 gram's worth of hydrogen, there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23 hydrogen atoms. Carbon has a relative atomic mass of 12, meaning in a 12 gram sample of carbon, there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23 carbon atoms. As a result, the moles of a compound or element present in a sample can be calculated by dividing the mass of the compound or element by its molar mass. Balanced equations in chemistry are based on the molar ratios of reactants and products. For example, 2Na plus 2HCl to form 2NaCl plus H2 means 2 moles worth of sodium atoms reacts with 2 moles worth of HCl molecules to form 2 moles worth of NaCl and 1 moles worth of H2. Recap done, let's go! Concentration is a way of describing how much of a solute or substance there is in a given volume of solution. Mass is usually used to measure how much of a substance there is in a solid sample. If a substance is dissolved in water to form a solution, however, mass no longer works as an easy way to determine how much substance there is present in a sample of the solution. For example, if a sample of solid sodium chloride has a mass of 10 grams, we know that the sample contains 10 grams of sodium chloride. If a sample of sodium chloride solution has a mass of 10 grams, however, we have no way of knowing how much of that 10 grams is from sodium chloride and how much is from water, meaning we don't know how much sodium chloride there is in that 10 gram sample of solution. We need more information to be able to know this. Concentration solves this problem for us. It refers to the amount of substance dissolved in a given volume of solvent, often water. The usual unit for concentration is moles per decimeter cubed, with moles describing the amount of substance and one decimeter cubed being used as a reference volume. For example, if the concentration of a sodium chloride solution is 1 moles per decimeter cubed, that means in 1 decimeter cubed of the solution there would be 1 moles worth of sodium chloride. Equally, in half a decimeter cubed of the solution there would be 0.5 moles worth of sodium chloride. 1 decimeter cubed is the same volume as 1000 centimeters cubed. <laughs> this may seem strange when you see this for the first time, as 1 decimeter equals 10 centimeters. Where does the thousand come from then? Well, 1 decimeter cubed is the same as 1 decimeter times 1 decimeter times 1 decimeter. That's the same then as 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters. 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. However, 10 times 10 times 10 equals 1,000. As a result, 1 decimeter cubed equals 1,000 centimeters cubed. Being able to convert between decimeters cubed and centimeters cubed is important, as very often small volumes of solutions are used in chemistry and it's simply more practical to measure these volumes in centimeters cubed rather than decimeters cubed. 
This means then that if a solution of sodium chloride has a concentration of one mole per decimeter cubed, a thousand centimeter cubed sample of the solution will contain one mole's worth of sodium chloride. Equally, a sample of 100 centimeters cubed of the solution will contain 0.1 moles worth of sodium chloride, as 100 centimeter cubed is 10 times smaller than 1,000 centimeter cubed, meaning it will contain one tenth the number of moles that are in 1,000 centimeters cubed. A key skill and exam requirement for chemistry at this level is to be able to calculate the concentration of a solution formed when a given number of moles of a substance are dissolved in a given volume of water. You should also be able to calculate the moles of a substance present in a solution based on the solution's volume and concentration. To calculate the concentration of a solution, you just simply need to divide the moles of substance present by the volume of solution they are in. You don't actually ever need to remember an equation here. Just look at the units for concentration, moles per decimeter cubed. That's the same as moles divided by volume. One careful thing to be aware of, however, is that the units of volume used when calculating concentration must be converted into decimeters cubed. If a volume measurement is given in centimeters cubed, this value needs to be divided by 1000 to get it into decimeters cubed. As remember, one decimeter cubed is 1000 centimeters cubed. This equation or relationship can be rearranged to give moles of solute equals concentration of solution times volume of solution. Again, think of the units to help you. If concentration equals moles divided by decimeters cubed, a volume, then concentration times decimeter cubed, a volume equals moles. So, to summarize, Concentration is a way of describing how much of a solute or substance there is in a given volume of solution. The usual units used for concentration are moles per decimeter cubed. One decimeter cubed is the same volume as 1000 centimeters cubed, as one decimeter equals 10 centimeters. One decimeter cubed equals one decimeter times one decimeter times one decimeter. So that's the same as 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters, 1000 centimeters cubed. If concentration equals moles per decimeter cubed, then to calculate the concentration of solute in a solution, use concentration equals moles of solute divided by volume of solution. To find the moles of solute present in a given solution, use the form of the equation moles equals concentration times volume. The volume used must be in decimeters cubed and to convert between centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed, divide by 1000. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out other relevant videos in the links given in the description below and visit chemistrystudent.com for free notes and revision materials.